You see, your mom was watching a video of, I guess, how people are reacting to your training footage, and now they're worried for G. Yeah, I haven't even posted the training footage. I posted the warm-up shit. Yeah. So I'm keeping the other stuff because I don't want him to bitch out. No bitch out clause. <laughs> Signing the blood. Cause... Speaking of clause, I hear there's a rematch clause if you win. I mean, he made a lot of he made a lot of talk about like me not accepting the bet. One, you not you not writing my check, so I'm not finna sit here and let you. Oh, I'll double your purse like you like you paying my purse out of your pay, personal bank account. Secondly, if you added the rematch clause and you're the one that think you may lose, I didn't. That wasn't my deal. But of course, I'm gonna sign it. I can rob the bank twice if they let me. So for me, yeah, we can do it once, we can do it twice, we can do it three times, however many times you want to do it. So, yeah. yeah, I'm with it. Good money. Bless you, my man. Bless you tomorrow, my man. Be blessed. I already did, I already got it for you. All right, bet. All right, get him on there. Cool, cool. Beat his ass. <laughs> Why so many people want this ass beat? What do he do? Everybody want. Everybody want to see this. Is the talk, slow. man? Is the talk? You know, people want to see you lose, and he's doing his thing, man. He came out of nowhere. I'm not really worried about the talk. I'm grinding. Once, once he, once he, somebody tricked him and confused him and drugged him and hypnotized him and told him to sign it out of line. I cut all the shit off. Now, I'm, I'm, now we in. So. I don't care what he said. I don't care what well, he do. What, that's what that's what that's the thing. That's what people wanted. They wanted him to fight someone that was considered a real fighter. To see they wanted him to get real. hurt, and they they signed the right person up for it. Your mom seems to think that that that, that you're a fighter, and this will be a fight. Yeah. Uh, but what about his youth and size? Does that size and what? Pretty tall and heavy. You ever seen Darren Till? What's the, what's the weight for this You ever fight? seen Darren Till? No, I don't watch UFC like that. Darren Till is um, probably six foot two, six foot three, maybe 10 to, 10 to 15 pounds heavier than Paul. He's the one that I fought for a title back in 2018. And uh, he was an up and coming prospect. He was a young, hungry kid. I was an old kid, and um, he didn't land one punch. He got finished off. So I'm fast. I'm explosive. Um, I'm very smart. I see things very well. I'm learning, I'm still getting better. Like I won't even reach my peak into my next three or four boxing fight. So I'm already on a great start. I can go six rounds hard, hard right now. Like if we had a six round fight, I can fight tomorrow. And you know when we fight, fighting the 29th. So now I got every week to add another round. And once I get to the point where I'm, I know I got the eight, then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna make sure I can sprint eight rounds like you ain't never seen before. So I can breathe and I can talk to people on the side if I want to and take deep breaths. So that's my mindset. So I'm not worried about the youth. Um, I'm worried about the experience and I'm worried about the grit. My, when my mom said I'm a fighter, I've been fighting my whole life. I've been in 30 street fights. So if it comes down to it, I'm ready to get ugly. You know what I mean? So that's what he doesn't have. He doesn't have that experience. You don't have that experience when you're in a fight or getting jumped or people chasing you. When you fall, you hit, you may die. So he ain't had that in his mind. He's He's been sheltered. He's been... He's been spoon fed his whole life. That doesn't mean he's not an athlete. The thing that people take him, they take him for granted because they think because you have not came from a certain background or you was born into money or you got your fame from somewhere else, that don't mean he can't go and train hard. That don't mean he's not athletic. That don't mean he can't punch. So the mindset of having that kind of set people up. And he's trying to, oh, I'm a Disney and vlogger and you know, I'm fighting the season striker and UFC champion five times and da da da. He's doing that bullshit. But in the real life, now in the face off, oh, how you gonna win? Let me double your purse. He's playing the game, he's smart at it. And that's why I gotta salute him for, for, for earning me that bag though. Because at the end of the day, I'm gonna get his fans, I'm gonna get his followers, and everybody that's rooting for him, they're gonna jump, they're gonna jump ship, guaranteed. Do you think a win over him can get you the Logan fight? I'm not really thinking about that. I think um I think the win over him is gonna set up so many things that I'll have options. And at that point, I'm going to just sit down with my squad and we're going to look at him and we're going to pick the, the best opportunity with the biggest backbone.